In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package Smooth Page Indicator. This is the simple app we're going to build today, where we have a page view, and here are different styles of page indicators. So first of all, the worm that basically goes like this, as you can see here, when we scroll. And as you can see here, the jumping dot will go here like that and so on. And in case of the swap, you can see it will swap between those indicators and the scrolling dots will just fade in here and fade out here. And you can also have a highly customizable effect. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use this package here called Smooth Page Indicator. Just copy this to your clipboard, then in your pubspec.yaml file underneath your dependencies, paste it in here and run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Then, of course, import the package in here and define a page controller. And in this case, I hard coded the item counts that we're going to use. But this should, of course, the count should be depending on a list probably of yours. So here we have five items in total, where the first one, of course, starts with the index of zero. And I've also defined a list here with colors that is for the last indicator effect. Regarding the layout, we have a column here, a size box. Then we have a size box again within the size box. We have a page view with our custom items in here, with our custom pages. A custom page simply consists of a container with a background color and then centered a text with the page number. Then beneath it, we have a padding and then the text here, worm, and then our smooth page indicator. So how can we use this? Very simple. We again make use of this page view controller we've defined above and then say how many items we have in here. This is the item count we also defined above, which is five. And then here we can define the effect. So in this case, it's the worm effect again it will slide over to the next indicator like a worm as you can see here and here we can define the dot height and the dot width also we can define the worm type whether it should be thin or it should be normal also of course we can define the active dot color so in this case it's blue otherwise we could set it to red for example the dot color itself so when it's not active and so on. Here for the jumping dots, it's basically the same, just instead we have a different effect here called jumping dot effect, and here you can also define some custom properties. For the swap, it's also just changing the effect called swap effect, and here you can change the swap type, so it's either Y rotation, normal or Z rotation. Then for the scrolling dots, we again have a custom effect here called scrolling dot effect, and again here you can play around with different parameters. And finally, we have the customizable effect, where here, you, again, you can define the active dot decoration and the dot decoration itself. You can play around a lot with this. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.